And look who's turned up, my old mate David. <laughs> How are uh, you? I'm very well, yeah. Are very, you lost? During, eh? Are you lost? Well, I got over the border and do you know, it's been a real bind. As Driving 20 mile an hour <laughs> all the way here from the minute we, we, we left you, the, you, uh, the England. Yeah. We get into Wales and we have to go 20 mile an hour. Well, yeah, we're not going to change, are we? A bit slow up this part of the world, well, I think it is. Hey, yeah. look, you've arrived. <laughs> it's taking you a bit of time. Tell everybody what's the idea and what we're going to be doing today. Well, what we're going to do today is uh, I want to show Gareth the benefits of some of the uh, seaweed and stuff that we've got and what yeah. we're doing a yeah. little bit more yeah. uh, on that. And the other thing I want to do is go through soils. I'm an, I'm an independent soil specialist. Yeah, and I want I to have a look at the soil of what you've got here, Gareth, and yeah. what, what the soils are like, because to get the best out of the seaweed side of things, yeah. you also need the soil. So oh, when you're look, right, you yeah, know, and if, yeah. it, if, it if the soil's right, not right, you've got nothing of you. No, no, no. I'm so gonna... we're going to go on a little trip around the fields now. We I've got to get. We're going to try this new motorbike out. Yes, you can, <laughs> you can jump on the Polaris with me, and then we're going to take some soil samples here, there, and everywhere, yeah. and then David's going to take them away, yeah. test them, and we're going to talk about something really very, very interesting that we're working on together, which is is the seaweed, seaweed, which is going to be added to wool. Yeah. And it's going to be called sea fleece. Sea fleece. You heard it and here the, first time. This is going to be. A lot of people are looking at and saying that the peat and stuff. Uh, you know, we're not allowed yeah. to use, use that, that any longer yeah. Yeah. Uh, in yeah. the composts and things like that. Yeah. On the trial work that I've done, this will compete with any peat and even further with the nutrition that we're getting It'll, from the sea. Yeah. Yeah. And putting it in with the soil and getting those plants and for all your bedding plants and everything, absolutely fantastic job. And it will add value to our wool, which we're getting hardly anything for. So every time we take a fleece out of the market, the rest of the fleeces in the market will go up. So this is going to be a great opportunity for both you and for me to come along on this wonderful journey. We are going to show you some magical things because I tell you, I've never seen tomatoes like I've had this year, and it's all down to seaweed and this man. He has got some magic solutions on everything. So we come to the field, and we're going to do some soil testing now, aren't we, David? Yeah. Unfortunately, I got halfway here this morning, knew I forgot something, and I hadn't put my spade in. <laughs> and I asked Gareth for a spade, and that's the best he could come up with. <laughs> but anyway, we'll It's me mum's edge. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got little spades yet. Right, get thinking, don't tell everybody. Right. So the idea now, David, is to get... We're just going to dig a turf out of here. Yeah. And have a look at this. Okay. See what's there. Oh, that's plenty of grass there, anyway. Some roots there. Yeah. There's plenty of roots. Yeah. Plenty of grass. Mm, here we go. Just smelling for how much smell in the soil in the air and whatever. Okay. And the roots are on going on well down into there. Now yeah. then, Gareth, what did you call that? Preve soil. This is the life of the world. Oh yeah, yeah. Everything comes from the soil yeah. or the sea. Yeah, yeah. This field had the double benefit because we've got yeah, the soil here. It's had the seaweed on this one. This is yeah. where you did the trial, trial on yeah. earlier on. Yeah. And this is what's pushing these roots and that down into into there. We look. And look, and there we are, we have some worms. Yeah. And again, like I was telling you, the benefits of these worms in here, they're as far as I know, yeah. the only thing that can actually take nutrition in yeah. and turn it into more nutrition coming out at the other end. Wow. Yeah. Whereas with animals or cells, anything whatever, else will be taking the majority of everything will, out. It's, it's yeah. exactly the same as putting fuel in your car. Yeah. It'll take you to somewhere, but it's empty at the end. These guys are going in there and they are doing a lot with the soil and yeah. helping. But without this, six inches of topsoil, they say. Yeah. Um, and rain. Yeah. We that can. feeds the world. Yeah. That's, we can't produce food, can we? We without cannot it. produce food without without having this. Now then when I look at soil we're gonna we'll take some of these as a sample. Yeah. But one of the key things I do is I always pick the soil up, break it open like that, yeah, and smell it. <laughs> I can't get my hands on that. And give me smell What's You this? smell that now and what do you smell in there? A real acidy smell. Yeah. Now then what happens with that yeah. when you get that acidy smell in there, yeah. 
Now smell it in there. Yeah. Now then I've been on fields yeah. where that smells that bad. Yeah. There was one was a deer park where I saw 30 odd deer carcasses in there with grass a foot high for them to graze. Wow. It was so bad they couldn't. The stock will not eat that down tight when it smells like that. You've got to get, that's a lack of oxygen. You've got to get, get oxygen. oxygen into this soil. Okay, that's and, interesting. And open that up. Okay. And then you will get a lot too compact. Better. It's too compacted. Sheep are the worst things of all for compacting ground. Them little feet. Them everything. little feet, a lot of weight, pressing like this, yeah. and then get pushing it down tighter and tighter when it's wet. Okay. So it is so, so important to get oxygen into the soil. So we need and this to be aerated next yeah. job. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, we we learn something on. every day. And it is very important to go around. If you go on your fields and you see, you know, you think, well, there's grass so the sheep aren't eating, or they come yeah. to the gate meeting you. Yeah. And you think, well, what the hell's going on here? And one of the key things is, number one, dig and have yeah. a smell. Yeah. Number two, if they're not eating it, just go along yeah. and pick some grass. Yeah. And it. Okay. <laughs> My God. <laughs> What are you doing now? Come on. <laughs> what I'm doing yeah. is chewing that grass to take the, ju to the juice, whether it's palatable or not. I'm not a vegan. <laughs> <laughs> not going down that road. So, but, so tell me again. So I'm, I'm learning here now. This. Pick the grass, okay? Yeah, just exactly what they eat, and just chew, just chew it in your mouth. You haven't got to eat it. Just just chew it. Chew it and taste it. See what it's like. If it's nice and sweet and whatever, they will eat it. And if it's a bit you know, as this is a bit chewy and a bit, uh, yeah, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't eat too much. Of it. Mm, yeah, I got you. I've yeah. got you. But that's it's very important to look at that because you're growing grass, putting fertilizer on, whether it be seaweed or chemical yeah. fertilizer. Yeah. You grow the stuff, and the animals aren't eating it all up clean and tidy. Yeah, yeah. The more they can eat, yeah, the better it is for us as a farmer, for, isn't it? As food uh, producers. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, that's brilliant. Yeah learn everything yeah. learn something oh, yeah. new every day i tell you i've never never thought i'd be chewing grass and smelling soil on a day like today thank you very much david well we'll get this tested now and the doctor there he wants me to have the well we've been chewing the grass we've been smelling the soil now we're picking some grass now we're picking grass and we're just picking exactly what the picking exactly what the sheep would be eating off the surface of it and we're going to send it away to have it analyzed yeah to find out because it is very, very important with all of this, whatever we do, yeah. we need the soil right to grow the grass. Yeah, yeah. But at the end of the day, this is what the sheep are eating. They're not eating the soil, no, they're no, eating the no. grass. Yeah, so yeah. we want to know what's going into that grass. Yeah. And so we're going to take this away and have it all tested for you and come back with an analysis of what is in that grass. Fantastic. You know, we've had some grass to eat. Let's get to the house and get some beef now. <laughs> and that's going to be grass fed. Come on, I'm bloody hungry. Chewing on this grass, my gosh. That's it. We're having brisket today. Look at that. Fantastic. What did you... Um, How's it, David? Is it nice? It is fantastic. Yeah. Gareth, I didn't know you were such a good chef. <laughs> Everybody told me that Mrs. J did all the work, but uh, you're here on your own. <laughs> We've been tasting grass. We've been smelling soil. And, and now, now we're having some grass. really grass-fed, lovely grub, some potatoes and some peas. There is some broccoli, but I don't fancy that, to be honest with you. <laughs> I've eaten enough greens for today with that grass. <laughs>